the Salish Sea is a jewel that we need to protect. There's so much biodiversity that a lot of people don't realize. You look out at the Salish Sea, it looks absolutely beautiful, but what we don't see is what's going on underneath it. Orca Conservancy has taken action to protect the endangered southern resident killer whales from going extinct. What affects them are the lack of prey, Chinook salmon, uh, toxins in our waters, and also noise. The population has been brought down to a very low number, so it's really at this point an emergency. What's really interesting just the way the whales themselves spread out. In fact, we used to say there's a pod of whales and you would see a cluster, eight, 10, 20 whales in one place. Now they're spread loosely across the sound, reflecting the diffuse nature of the salmon stocks that they're chasing after. What we're trying to do is improve the habitat next to the river to increase the juvenile salmon survival. Back in the early 80s, killer whales used to come down to Seattle where they'd feed on the salmon returning to the Sammamish River here. Because of all the development we've had, uh, our salmon returns are way down. Many of the organizations and corporations are in direct conflict with the, the recovery of the southern resident population because they're looking at the bottom line. So here at Orca Conservancy, our primary role is to be the southern resident killer whale's voice. Our organization is all about education. It's about getting awareness. Out. We don't manage wildlife, we manage people so that the wildlife can survive. People think that because every one of these whales are named and have numbers, that we're saving the whales one whale at a time. It takes a whole ecological village to raise an orca. In other words, if we're gonna save the whales, we have to save the Sailor Sea. We, we all have to work hard. And it's not just for the Southern residents, it's for us. I'm here because I want my grandchildren to have a future. And this population as an apex predator is failing. So the entire ecosystem beneath it is failing and we have to protect that. Um, every time I see them, I cry. There's just something that just comes over you that's just so emotional that you're just, you're, you're blessed to be in their presence. And I really work hard and our organization works hard because I want my children and my grandchildren to be able to see them long after we're gone.